All right, Shalom. Before I get into my lesson, I want to start off saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kala Ayam, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, the Ruel, and salutation to the Akim, the brothers, the fellow laborers, and his faith men in the ministry of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Doing the work in sincerity, day in and day out, man. Shalom. This is the brother, Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, Charlotte Camp. Coming at you with a new, um, another, le <clears throat> another lesson. Salaki. You know, then basically, man, I'm going to uh, land back off the, um, off the, off the brother videos from, from the uh, GMS North Carolina Raleigh Camp, man. You know, you know the brother over there that's in GMS uh, North Carolina Raleigh, the, the head brother, Hawaii. You know, shalom to him and all the Akims that's fellow laboring with him. You know, and basically I'm going to just land back off the lesson they, they was doing called getting excited, man, for the truth, man. You know, because you're an Israelite and you wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite. You know, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, and once you find out that the Lord is dealing with you, you know, and when you find out that the Lord is only going to choose and chosen the nation of Israel to be the next rulers and king, kings on the earth, man. That salvation is for us, man. Who the word eagerly called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah, which is a dark skinned man from the tribe of Judah. He only came and died for the nation of Israel, man. And on top of that, man, the, on the first go round, he only is going to deliver the elect, man, the 144,000 and one third, man. And who's going to be part of the elect? Those that hold this faith to the end, man. Those that believe in Yahweh Shah. Those that believe in the name Yahweh. You know, those that believe that they're Israelites. And only the Israelites are going to be saved, man. Those that are pushing this word, man, in truth and sincerity, man. And the, and, and, and the prophecies that's about to come, man, is America's destruction. World War Three is at hand. You know, the downfall of America's uh, economy. You know, the race wars, the concentration camps, the FEMA camps. Those that's out there pushing and warning the people, which are the prophets, you know, those that are doing the work of the Lord and, and, and uh, preaching, preaching the words of the Lord, those are going to be the ones that are going to be saved, man. The ones that preach it and believe in Yahweh Shem Yahushua, man. For the rest of our people, the two thirds is not going to be saved, man. They're going to be get, they're going to get caught up into the destruction of America, man. Right along with their enemies, man, who they truly hold on to, man. Especially this American system, man. Our people, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, love following the ways of America, which is run by you Edomites, man. The so-called white man and the rest of these nations that that's hand in hand with the so-called white man keeping our people oppressed and keeping them down man but our people love this place man so the lord is going to destroy them for belief for, for them holding on and believing in the ways of america man and because what's about to happen man the rfid chip is about to um be implemented you know after this economy crash man and the majority of our people love this place so much love america so much the system that they're going to be willing to take that RFID chip, man. You know, but we telling you people out there don't take it, man. But we already know only the elect is going to be shielded from that, man. Because those that take the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire and by the chariots uh, of the Most High, man, with what the world eagerly called UFOs, man. We know them as the chariots of the Most High, the angels, man. And they're going to come back right along, you know, with Yahweh Shah, come back with the host of angels. They're going to come back and bring war against America, man, and against these armies, and against these, these heathens, and two-thirds of his people, man, that's, that rejected him, and don't be, don't believe on his returning, man, you know, all they want to do is scoff and scorn, you know, you know, they, they, they you know, they, they rejecting the words of the Lord, but not taking heed, you know, so, so we're not worrying about them, man, we're only worrying about ourselves, man, praying that we be part of that elect, that's why we're doing this work, that's why we believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, and repenting, and asking for uh for the forgiveness, man, that we be make that we make into the chariots be delivered, man. But that's how the elect is going to be delivered out of the destruction of America when Yahweh Shah returns. Right before the nukes destroy America, Yahweh Shah is going to de deliver the elect, the 144,000, the one third, by the ways of the so-called UFOs, the chariots, beaming them up, man, and delivering them from the destruction, man. And that's what we hoping. Uh, the brother say a great millstone, and those that in the faith and believe in you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah, is, is, is going to be take part of, man, that deliverance, man. So we in this uh, exciting times, man. You're seeing our enemies falling, man. 
the so-called white man and their whole system, even though they're trying, trying their best to keep up they keep their enterprise and keep their kingdom going. But the Lord is bringing it down, man. And first of all, more, he's bringing it down by the words, man, by his men being out there on the highways and byways, bringing it down by, by uh, telling the truth and building all his wickedness, man, all the lies that he pushed throughout the um, world for centuries, man, you know. So the Lord is exposing these devils that they are not uh, righteous people, but they are the wicked. And the Lord is going to come back and bring them down and, and, and put them in slavery and put them under captivity, under the nation of Israel, man, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So I'm going to get into some scriptures, you know, you know, praying that this video be edifying. Just, you know, let brothers know, man, you know, that, you know, this will be a motivation spit, um, so, um, video, exhortation, that brothers, man, this is an excited time, man. The kingdom of heaven is very, very near, man, you know. So this is um, Psalms chapter 25, verse 1. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, my power, I trust in thee. So we let be trusting in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, man. You know, we trust that he's going to deliver us from the times of Jacob's trouble when all hell break loose. It say, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemy triumph over me. So we, then we'll be praying to the Lord too, man, for, for, for us to be delivered from our enemies, man. That so-called white man, the Edomites, man. And when they come down with martial law, you know, when these race wars pop off, you know, also two-thirds of our own people, man, are our enemies, man. Because when all hell break loose, man, they're going to be the survivor of the fetish, man. You know, you will have Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans really murdering each other then for the, for the point of survival, man. So you already know they're going to come after the men of the Lord. But the Lord is going to protect his men. He's going to have the angels around his men. He's going to um, he give his men, some of his men, spiritual power, man. You know, to fight against the enemies, man. You know, but mainly you Edomites, man. You martial art troops, when you come rolling in, and, you know, to uh, come against uh, the nation of Israel, you're going to try to come against the men of the Lord. The Lord is going to lift up that standard, man. He's going to have a way of protection, a hedge to protect his uh, elect men, those that believe in him, man. Let's say, um, verse 3, Ye, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. So we waiting on the Lord, man. And we're not ashamed, man. We're not ashamed of this gospel, man. You know? We're not afraid to go out there and, and preach the downfall of America, man. And condemn all this wickedness that is pushing, man. Like homosexuality, pedophilia, you know, these uh, uh, bestiality, transgender, you know, GMO food, you know, witchcraft and, and wickedness that they push throughout their media, man. The entertainment system, man. That got the people over here in America in a confused state, man. Living their life with wickedness, man. You know, we're not ashamed of bringing down these lies that the so-called white man the Edomites push out through all these years, man. You know, we, we are covering it and exposing it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. For the history that he done, the history that he gave us, man, the true history, man. Starting off with the Bibles, man. The Bible, man. Letting us know that we are the children of Israel, not no fake Jews over there, man. Which are the Amalekites, man. The Khazars, man. That which is from the stock of the tribe of Edom, man. You know, we are exposing these devils, man. Starting from the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, man. And the brothers and the, and the brothers in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua on down, man. So we're not ashamed. Uh, let me read it again. Psalms 25, verse 3. Ye, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. So the people that come up against us, come against the men of the Lord, and come, and ultimately they're coming against Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man, the spirit of the Lord. And they're the one that's going to be ashamed, man. When, when the Lord bring that, that uh, destruction upon them, man, that hell upon them, man. Um, verse 4, show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy path, lead me in thy truth, and teach me. For thou, for thou art the good, for thou art the power of my salvation, on thee do I wait all the day. So they will be praying to the Lord, man, to keep us in the truth, man, to keep us in that same mind, man. That he don't, you know, take the spirit from us, man. You know, but to keep us on the, in the spirit, man. Keep us on our watch, man. To keep us looking at these prophecies, man. That we see going on throughout the uh, earth, man. On the TV. You know, on the uh, internet, man. You know, throughout our daily lives, man. We see these prophecies, man. And all of it leading by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. That we can get up and, and do these videos, man. Because the Lord put the spirit on us, man, to do it, man. And it's an honor and a blessing, man, to have that spirit, man. To really... Have the spirit of the Lord dealing with you, man. And you can see, you know, see all things, man. See the things that's about to take place, man. Unlike 
the people out here in this world, man. They don't see it, man. They continue on and walking on in this confused state, this darkness, man. Thinking that everything's all right, man. Not knowing that America destruction at hand and, and, the, and the, uh, the wrath of the Lord is upon you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But y'all living here comfortably, comfortably, thinking everything's cool, man. But the men of the Lord, we see it, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, so the, cause the destruction is coming, man. Even though we tell you, tell you people out there, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, y'all don't want to take heed. But the Lord is going to surprise y'all, man. He's going to catch you off your guard. He's going to see, you know, have, have this wrath or his, his wrath, his judgment come upon this place. And, and then it's going to be too late, man. It say, um, verse 5, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day, all the day. So we waiting for the Lord, man. Ever since the time that we woke up, man, we was waiting, waiting on the Lord, man. And praying that the Lord give us the, the power, the, the spirit and the power to, to endure, man, until the end, man. Until Yahweh Shah say, well done, you know, and, and the Lord is going to move to the phase of destruction, man, you know. And he's going to protect his man in that day, man. That's what we're looking for, man. And we're looking for the Lord to, to um, send the chariots. When he come back with the chariots, that he deliver us, man. That's what we're waiting on, man. Um, this is all uh, Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 11. It says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. You know, so all those that put their trust in you, how about you, you shot? You're supposed to re be rejoicing, man. Why? Because we know the kingdom of heaven is for us, man. And our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. Ain't no nation is going to take us down, man. We're going to be on top in rulership forever, man. You know, we're going to have vast um, mansions, you know, land, you know, women, you know. We're going to have uh, a, all type of, you know, gardens, you know, all type of precious stones, you know, jewelry, you know, all type of garments, man. Uh, animal, exotic animals, man, all type of things that we can't even imagine on this side that we never had, you know, on this side, we're going to get in the kingdom plus more, man, spiritual power, man, we're going to be able to uh, um, uh, go out through different planets, man, to, you know, explore the universe, you know, out of space, man, you know, we're going to have slaves, man, you know, the kingdom will be, that, that's about to approach for you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, the nation of Israel, man, it's going to be sweet, man, so we supposed to be in the time of rejoicing, man. Not need no time of uh, lacking, man. You know, like majority of Israelite camps out here, man. Sitting back, thinking everything's you no know, smooth, man. You no know, one to march, man. Marching and want to be seen, man. For vain glory, man. They're not looking for the return of Yahweh Shah, man. They Israelites, they're Americanized Israelites, man. They want to be over here in America, man. They want to stay in the, in the, the land of their captivity. While the true men of the Lord want to get the hell out of America, man. Because this is not our rest, man. And our, and, our, and, our, and our land is the nation, of, I mean, our land is the land of Israel, man. That's our home-born land, man, our inheritance, man. But our people, the, you wicked Israelites, man, that calling, you know, you wicked Negro, Latino, Native Americans, that are supposed to be Israelites, calling yourself Israelites, because that's our true inheritance. But, but you don't want your inheritance, man. You're just doing it because it feels good, man, because it's a new trend. You know, you know, you don't really believe in the doctrine and the spirit of power you have about Shem Yahushua. That what the Lord is going to destroy those that fake in the funk, man. These hypocrites, man. And only going to say the true worship, man. Those that truly and sincerely looking for the Lord return to set up the kingdom of heaven, man. So we're supposed to be rejoicing, man. Um, Psalms chapter 5, verse 11. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful. Indeed, so the Lord is going to defend us, man. You know, praying our part of that election, man. You know, the Lord is going to defend those that that wait on Him, man. Those that those that do His work, man. Those that have his, had the faith in Him and His Son, man. You know, the Lord's going to deliver them from the time of Jacob trouble, man. When all hell break loose, man. For their enemies, man. Uh, it says, "Let them also that love Thy name be joyful in Thee." And you got to have the name, man, to be joyful in the Spirit and power, man. Or you have by Shem Yahushua. And that is the name, man, who the world really called God is Yahweh, man. And his son, Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, man. Those are the names. Why? Because they are Paleo-Hebrew, man. And we are Hebrew Israelites, man. And the Lord speaks the same language in the heavens that he speak, as we speak right here on the earth, man, that he's given to us, man. How do you think we're going to communicate with the, with the power, uh, with the Lord, man? 
you know, if we don't have the language, man, if we don't have the name, man, that don't, don't make sense, man. They say we got to be joyful, rejoice and be joyful in his name, man. So that means we have to have the name, and the name is in the Hebrew, man, because we Hebrew Israelites, man. Ain't no way you're going to call yourself a, uh, a Hebrew Israelite and don't speak in, speak the Hebrew, man. You know, still calling the Lord Jesus Christ, man, God, most high. Well, here you know, and you got Israelite camps that know that the name of the Lord is in the Hebrew, and they actually know the name of the Lord, but they don't want to use it, man. So, because they're ashamed of it, man. They want to gain the, gain the people by smooth things, man, by the how they feel, man. They don't want to, uh, know, you know, um, you know, um, make people mad or, you know, rough edges, man. They want to set up all people, man. You know, it don't work like that, man. The Lord is only looking for a few men, the election, man. You know, and we don't care about these people's feelings, man. We only care about what the Lord want, man. The Lord want two thirds of people to be destroyed, man, because they're wicked, man. You know, so there ain't no way you can save these people if they don't want to repent, man. And you definitely can't save them if you're not, uh, uh, or you definitely can't give them the word of salvation if you don't give them the name, man. So that's another reason why we got to rejoice, man, because we had the name, man. You know, and the Lord has separated us from these false Israelite camps, man. You know, you see their works, man. You see their fruits, man. You know. We supposed to be in the side of town watching this place fall down, but here they want to keep this place up and going, man. They want to continue on lagging, gagging, and, and, you know, messing around, man. You know, but the Lord is going to have a judgment for those two that are supposed to be doing the work and taking the taking the oath or, or taking the, the you know, supposed to be taking the scriptures and doing the right way, preaching the right way to warn the people and break the scriptures down the right way, but they're not doing it, man. So the Lord is going to destroy those, destroy them that's not of his spirit, man, that's not of his election. Um, it says verse 12 Psalms chapter 5 verse 12 For thou Lord will bless the righteous With favor With thy compassion as with the shield And the shield is for defense man The Lord going to have his no defense Meaning his angels His spirit Around his men Those are the righteous man The elect man Those that try hard man Those that truly believe man Those that want the Lord protection man You know and the Lord is going to have his shield and his protection in that time, man. Like I say, he's going to give his man spiritual power, you know. You're going to have everybody running to the men of the Lord, man, in that time, man. The Lord said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold, man, you know. So we're going to have women, you know, we're going to have the children. You're going to have these men coming up, you know, seeking for salvation, man. And Lord going to give his power to the men, to, to his men, to heal, man. And that's how most of the people are going to be saved also, man. Just like how back in the time of the books of Acts, and when Yahweh Shah was on the scene and they had spiritual power, man, most of the people woke up and was converted by the way of the miracles, man. And the Lord will give his man power to do miracles also, man. So this is some excited times, man, that the Lord about to give his man power, man, and show these people who are his chosen, who, is, or who are his chosen nation, man. The Negro, Latino, Native Americans, man, starting off with the elect, man. And, and, and he's going to show these people that he's with us, man. And with no other, other body, any other nation but the nation of Israel. Um, this is Psalm, Psalms chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength, my shield, my heart trusted in him. So the Lord is our strength and our shield, man. And our heart, meaning our mind, go back to the Hebrew word, law, meaning your mind, is, is in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. That we should be meditating upon, man, you know. Because we, we think about Yahweh Shah daily, man. We're looking for the return of the Lord, and it can happen any time. All hell can break down, break loose, and, and this a place can, this sister can break down any time, man. You know, we're keeping our head on the, uh, uh, on the swivel, man. You know, we're keeping our eyes focused, man. You know, we're looking at the times and the, the different events that's going to lead up to the destruction of America, man. Unlike the rest of you Negro Latinos in America and the people in this world, man. They're not seeing that the time of the Lord... It's about to be approaching, and, and the destruction is about to be at hand. It say, um, verse 7, And I am helped. I'll read it over again. This is Psalms chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. So the Lord help going to help those that they're trusting him, man. The Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is a power that they can't lie, man. You know, you can truly believe, man. He's going to deliver you, man. Look at all the ancient prophets and the men of the Lord, man. Anytime they call on the Lord, anytime they needed the help from Yahweh Shah, the Lord helped them, man. 
and deliver them from their enemies, man, or the certain situation that they've been in. Been in. Um, therefore, my heart greatly rejoiced, and with my song will I praise him. You know, so we're going to rejoice, man. You got to rejoice, man. And there's plenty of times when brothers been in a certain situation, and you pray to the Lord, the Lord have mercy and deliver you out that, that that situation, man. So how much more in the time when all hell break loose, man? So this is some exciting times, man. You're supposed to be fired up, man. In the, in the spirit, man. Willing to do more videos, man. Ready to go out there and preach, man. You know, ready, you know, ready for this place to fall, man. And looking for you, how we shall return, man. And looking for the kingdom to be established. It say, um, verse eight: The Lord is thy strength, and He is the saving strength of His anointed. Save thy people, bless thy inheritance, feed them also, and lift them up forever. So this is talking about the nation of Israel, man. Starting off with the elect. You know, David saying that he asking the Lord, you know, to save his people, man, to feed them, man. And that's that what the Lord is doing, man. He's doing it now, feeding us spiritually, man, through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. You know, and ultimately he's going to feed us too when all hell break loose, man. Because his service is going to be taken care of, man, the men that believe on him, man. I'm going to get that. <clears throat> so we in some excited times, man. So imagine that, man. Imagine, like, when all hell break loose. And the chaos, death on both sides of you, man. And you, you don't fade, man. The Lord had a power and the spirit on you that you be able to, uh, the strength on you to be able to endure all that, man. When there's no food, man. You know, and, and you got food right there. The Lord, you know, feeding you, man. Uh, uh, so, um, miracles that the Lord making for you, uh, making a way for you to eat, to drink, man. You know, to, um, you know, to, to take care of yourself, man. They ain't the wash, man. You know, because it's going to be so hectic, man, when these, you know, water pipes cut off. There ain't going to be no food, no water. These people are going to go insane, man. They ain't going to be able to bathe. They ain't going to be able to drink no water, man. They, gonna be, they ain't going to be able to eat. They ain't going to be no electricity, man. The majority of us, you know, the people, you know, we, you know, we, we basically, man, everything is technology, man. Everything is worrying about electricity. Everything, you know, we get the water, you know, unless you live by a well water or something man but majority of people we live people the people live in this inner city man they get they get the water from the um from the government man the food for the government man you know we never we never had never knew how to groom ourselves man we always had to depend on the government man for for food man for jobs man for money man so when our hair break loose man majority of people gonna lose it man and they're gonna still trust in this government looking for their help and that RFID chip is going to be the way uh, for the so-called help, man. Not knowing that it's going to lead to the destruction. But the man of the Lord is going to look for the help. And you have Bashim Yahweh shot, man. The Lord is going to, take care, going to take care of his man in that time, man. In those times. Um, this is a song. I mean, this is Isaiah chapter 65. Um, verse 13. Therefore, this say the Lord power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So the servants of the Lord, the elect men of the Lord is going to eat, man. And the two-thirds, the ones that reject the word, that, that those that don't believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they're going to be hungry, man. They're going to get caught up into the famine, man. They're going to starve to death from starvation, man. But the elect is going to eat. That's what the scriptures say, man. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. And the thirsty. So the Lord said his servants are going to drink, man. You know, his servant's going to be, you know, Lord going to have water for his servant, wine, you know. And so, so the servant's going to be taken care of, man. And by the others, he said they're going to thirst, man. They're going to they're gonna die for thirst, man. You know, they ain't going to have no, no food, man. Those are going to be the ones that reject the Lord, man. And the Lord's going to reject them by putting uh, plagues upon them, man. Death, man. Breaking destruction and judgment upon them. Verse uh, 13. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So the service of the Lord in that day is going to be rejoiceful, man. Even when all hell break loose, man, the Lord, men of the Lord is going to be rejoiceful. Why? Because the Lord is going to be protecting care of, taking care of his man, man. And on times, the Lord really going to show himself, man. He really going to show his men that he exists, man, by, by, by feeding them, man, having food for them, having water for them, man. And ultimately, he going to... Uh, me and the Lord going to be rejoicing because he's going to have spiritual power for his man too, but he's going to give his man spiritual power, man. His man will have that authority in the earth once again, uh, at, like, like the nation of Israel had back in the ancient times, man. And the Lord going to raise up his man, 
those that are doing the work of the Lord having faith, man. Um, and it said, but ye shall be ashamed. So the two-thirds of you Negro, Latino, need American, those that not want to come back to the power, that those that didn't trust in your house, boss, in your shop, they go be ashamed, man. I'm talking about the two-thirds that's in the world and these false Israelites, man. They're going to be ashamed too, man. But here they're supposed to be doing the work of the Lord and calling themselves Israelites, but they're not doing the work of the Lord, man. They're a bunch of liars, hypocrites, misusing the word of the Lord. And when our hair breaks loose, the Lord is not going to protect them, and they're going to be ashamed for their works, man. The evil works that they've done against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Um, It says, Behold, my servant shall say for joy of heart, meaning, you know, they're going to be in the sight of the game, man. You know, you're going to be sad in that time, Lord, when it be those men. You know, because the Lord going to protect his men. And it say, um, Behold, my servant shall sing for heart. Be, 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 Behold, my servant shall, shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of the spirit. You know, and these, these two-thirds, man, they're going to be ashamed, man. They're going to be howling, mean crying, man. You know, why? Because the Lord is going to bring that destruction upon them, man. And they're going to be vexed, man. You know, they're going to be wondering how the hell can he escape, you know, the damnation, but they ain't, go, they ain't going to be able to, man. The only way they're going to be able to escape that that hell that the Lord is going to put on them is by death, man. And that's what's going to happen, man. For the elect, we, we're praying that we part of that number, man. We're going to escape by salvation, man. You know, by the deliverance, man. By the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And we're supposed to be excited, man. That was also why we, you know, supposed to be excited, man. Because when our hair breaks loose, we're supposed to be looking for the Lord. The, you know, the, the protect you in that time, man. You know, because it had that excited, be excited that the Lord, looking for uh, looking for the Lord to give you that power, man. Give you that deliverance. Let me get one more, and a couple of more scriptures. Because this is some excited times, man. Don't worry about whether these people believe or don't believe, man. You know, because we already know that the Lord has chosen them uh, chosen the delusion for them, man. And the Lord doesn't want them, but ultimately, the Lord is going to destroy them, man. You know, and we already know that two-thirds of our people that die on this side, they're going to come back into the kingdom anyway through the seed of the elect, man, through the loins, man. You know, through the seed, the offspring of the elect when the kingdom is established. You know, but us brothers here, we want to pray to the Lord that we make it on the first go-around, man. You know, that we're going to be the first fruits, man. To be the ones that started the kingdom of heaven, man, with Yahweh Shah. This is on um, First Thess Thessalonians chapter five, verse sixteen. Rejoice ev every more. So the scripture tells us to rejoice, man. Be happy, man. Being, you know, even though we be vexed throughout this world, man, walking daily through our daily life, man, seeing all this wickedness. But well, ultimately, man, we know we're supposed to be rejoiced because we put, we did depend on the Lord to bring this place down, man. We have confidence that the Lord is about to bring this place down because we see it through the prophecies on um, about to be fulfilled, man. How things are playing out. Verse 17, pray without ceasing. You need to never stop praying, man. Always sending prayers up to you. How about Shimia was shot, man? You know, that make the Lord happy, man. Why why making him happy? Because we depending on him, man. We're calling upon him, man. We're looking for his um, script, man. You know, that one of the main reasons why, you know, the Lord set the nation of Israel up, man. To depend on him, man. So it's a blessing to have the name of the Lord and truly believe on him and pray him, man. And the Lord hears your prayers, man. And the Lord will give you what you need, man, not what you want, man. So the Lord always answers his prayer. Because Yahweh Shah said that um, anything you need, ask in his name, man, and the Father will give it to him, man. Will give it to you, man. So you got to believe in the name of Yahweh Shah that will see the prayers, man, that, that you need, man. Verse um, 18. And everything give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach concerning you. Quench, quench not the spirit. So we quench not the spirit, meaning don't put off the spirit, man. Keep the spirit going, man. And that's one of the ways you keep the spirit going by reading, praying, doing these videos, man. Fellowshipping with brothers, man. You know, looking at different, um, different events on the news that are playing out through the scriptures, man, through prophecy, man. You know, so quench not the spirit, man. You know, stay in the spirit, keep fighting, keep having that spirit, that spiritual burning, man, that fire, man. Um, despise not prophesying, so don't despise prophesying, man. 
supposed to be amped to teach as the scriptures say, man. You know, because prophecy is the best thing that the Lord gave him to his men. Better than a lotto ticket, man. Better than an NBA contract, you know, a, a record deal, you know, these women. But prophesying, man, to have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and be able to, to, to do the work of the Lord, man, you know. The Lord going give to give us these, you know, material things anyway in the kingdom, man. We're going to have the lustless, you know, the lustless, you know, lustless things, man. The, 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 the uh, delicates, man. All the, all the fancy things, man. But right now, man, the main thing we're supposed to be excited about is prophesying, man. And doing the work of the Lord, man. Verse 21. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. So the Lord said, prove all things, man. And though we do through the spirit of power, y'all by some y'all shot. We prove all things out these scriptures, man. And say, hold fast to what is good, man. What is good? The Holy Spirit, man. The scriptures. You know, knowing that Yahweh Shah is coming, man. We got to hold on to that, man. Um, this is Romans. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And they say, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake awake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than we than when we believe. So they know the Lord said, man, it's time, it's high time to wake up out of the sleep, man. I mean wake out of that spiritual slumber, man. For you, you know, the ones that's out there that not, you know, uh, waking up to the truth yet, man. You know, cause, cause the salvation is near to what we believe, man. Our salvation is right around the corner. To the brothers that's in the faith and you know been you know been awoken, man, you know. With those that new, you know, the newcomers, man, you know, those that, you know, learning now, you know, like I say, man, we had to some exciting times, man. You know, don't worry about these other people out here asleep, man. You know, the Lord's, we looking for the Lord to keep us awake, man. Because our salvation is near, salvation is near, man. Yahweh Shah is that close, uh, uh, bringing us place down and setting up the kingdom of Israel, man. You know, so, so brothers out there, keep fighting, keep praying, man. Keep being excited, excited for this truth, man. Because this is it, man. We clearly seen this place fall, man. You know, uh, uplift each other, man. You know, keep praying to you. How about you? Y'all shot. Continuing in the faith, man. Continuing to work. Continue putting up these videos, man. Until they shut this internet down, man. You know, and they can't do nothing against the Lord, man. All of them, all these scoffers and scorners and these heathens that, that are trying to come against the truth, they just fulfilling prophecy, man. They playing out their lot, man. They playing out their role in the Holy Scriptures, man. And their role is to be destroyed, man, to be wicked, man, you know. And we, so we got to play at our role. And our role is to do the work of the Lord, man, to have faith in the Lord, that we be um, saved, man. That's what we want to um, want our lot to be, man. So brothers, keep fighting and keep praying, man. So because we almost out of here, man. So the next time, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rekar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the Ruel, the Shalom to the Akim, Ba'af, Dabada. You know, and uh, Bashar, man, Shalom.